Hey YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, the American African. Today is day 11 of this 21 day water fast. It might end up being 25 days. I might end it tomorrow, but you know what I'm saying. Very important concept, very simple concept, but very uh, cliche-ish, right? Every day I wake up and I say I love myself, you know? You got to, you got to love yourself in this life, you know? When I overeat, it's because I love myself. When I fast, it's because I love myself. When I run, it's because I love myself. When I lift weights, it's because I love myself. Overall, I love myself. But I'm stay, I stay consistent with my journey because I really love myself. You feel me? One important thing my doctor said to me on my last visit. He said, it starts in the grocery store. You know, I have a love-hate relationship with my doctor because he's very blunt. He's like me. He's an asshole. He's like me. But he said, it starts in the grocery store. That's so powerful. It's so, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but if every day you go out or you wake up and you say, it starts in the grocery store. That's like one part of the whole puzzle, you know? To really understand that concept that you can only get fat by overeating. The best way to prevent overeating, now let's just have to battle, is eat healthy. If, I'm not going to say it's impossible to overeat healthy food. I've done it, but it's a different, it's a different battle. It's a different struggle, you know? For me personally, yeah, I think abstinence has to be in my game plan. Because I, I just know if I go back to cookies, ice cream, cake, you know, uh, small chops, you know, floury foods, processed foods, it's just a vicious cycle that I don't know I would ever escape, you know. But if I say it starts at a grocery store and I just shop for healthy food. If I want to overeat nuts, eventually, you know, like I'd rather just have that one overeating issue that I overeat nuts, oranges, apples and shit. You know what I'm saying? Versus I overeat these foods that will really kill me. You know what I'm saying? It starts in the grocery store. You know, that, that past three weeks, you know, a couple weeks ago when I was doing that um, whole food diet, natural raw and processed foods and stuff like that, um, there's a lot of times I went into the store and I walked past all those sweets that I used to like. And, you know, I wasn't craving them. And I just had to really think about that. Like, I don't even crave this shit. But the moment I start eating it, I start craving it. That's a drug, isn't it? It's a drug, you know? And it's like, is that a drug I really want in my life? It's sweet when it's sweet, but if I'm not even craving it, why introduce it back into my system? You know, the, the first test I will have is when I break this fast. And more so when I go on vacation. So imagine I'm on a plane. You know on a plane, they give you a lot of snacks, you know? They give you a lot of snacks. I, I actually went and pre-checked the food that I'll be offered on this flight. There's ice cream. There's like this brownie. There's wine. You know, and there's the regular meals and stuff. There's a bunch of different snacks like biscuit, cookies. There's even, they're even they'll even pass around a basket of snacks. You know, it's like all you can eat sort of deal. Now for the normal person, they'll be fine. But for me, who knows? I have an issue. It's like, am I going to pass on those snacks? It starts in the grocery store. That's the grocery store. You know? I'm, I have to choose what I put into my body, when I put into my body, and how much I put into my body. I'm back to square one. As, you know, I'm back to saying, you know what? I do have control. It's up to me to lose that control. 
but I truly believe God has given me control. I feel that if I can do water fast, I can definitely, I hate the word portion control. Let me just say, I can definitely choose what I eat, when I eat, and how much I eat. You know, it's, it's those three things. It's not just portion control, you know? I can choose it. You know, the basic concept of calories in, calories out, you know? If I wanna eat like something I shouldn't eat, then I have to go out and I have to burn it, you know? But <laughs> it starts in the grocery store. Like literally, when I did that, you know, raw, pro uh, raw, unprocessed, natural food diet, or basically like a whole food diet, when I did it, I made a conscious effort that nope, no cookies, nope, no ice cream. And trust me, I went to the aisle and I looked at it, but I said, I don't even want this. Like, like I, I realized that the only reason I was going to go and get it was just because of the pleasure factor. Because I remember every time I reintroduced sugar into my life, Initially, it doesn't hit. Initially, there's no pleasure. It's like I keep eating it because I'm looking for that. I'm looking for it, you know? I'm looking for that hit. I'm looking for that fix, you know? And then once I get it, now I'm hooked. Now I'm going for it every day, every time, two times a day. I'm overeating it because I want that fix, all right? I don't really get a fix from eating nuts, I think apples does a little something. I think oranges do a little something. You know, they got sugar. But it's not like crazy. But I, I can I can eat eight oranges in a day if I wanted to just because I'm chasing that sugar high. But I tend to prevent myself from doing that, you know. Um, but I know I can get there. I think a low-carb diet is safe because... If you do it correctly, you pretty much eliminate sugar from your lifestyle, you know? And it's like, I know salt has a similar fix, but it's different, you know? I remember when I was a kid, if I was to buy, like, if I was to eat, like, cornflakes, you know, I put my cornflakes in, put my milk in, and I put too much sugar, and I lined the bottom of my bowl with sugar. And every time I... I dip low, I get a little bit of sugar on there with the cornflakes and the milk, and then I'm saying, mmm, that's good, you know? But it's really like the sugar. I didn't really care for the cornflakes for the milk. I only care for the milk when it has sugar in it, and then I mix the sugar into the milk, and then I drink it. You know what I'm saying? It's the sugar. But with salt, it's not like that, you know? If I was to put too much salt in my food, I wouldn't eat the food and then see, like, salt on the plate and say, ooh, let me eat that salt. It would have to be mixed with something. Whereas sugar, you can just eat sugar. I don't know. But I've been thinking about sugar and salt because salt leads to high blood pressure for me, right? Heart disease, right? Sugar leads to all other sorts of issues like diabetes and insulin resistance, you know? So we push it, we continuing. It really does start in the grocery store. Like anytime you buy food, you have to choose what food you're buying. Note to myself, it's going to be tough. I didn't really predict this in the journey. I, I knew that maintenance would be hard, right? I knew that maintenance would be at least 33% of it all. But I never really realized that maintenance is really also just choosing what you put in your body, when you put in your body, and how much you put in your body. You know? That's really what it that's really what it entails. My struggles in maintenance have made me say, Do I want to be a vegetarian? I know I won't overeat salad. You know, it's made me think of so many different things. But I think ultimately, I just have to eliminate sugar. Reduce salt, and it starts in the grocery store, you know? I think my doctor's right. I know he's right, though. You know, I know he's right. It's your boy, American African. You know, day 11 of this water fast. Everything's good. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep moving.
Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.